now Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign manager, Robbie Mook. Robbie, thank you so much for coming on today. We appreciate it. My pleasure. So first of all, how is Secretary Clinton doing today? How's she feeling? How's her health? She's, she's doing well. I talked with her this morning. She's been uh, working all day. Uh, we've been going back and forth about uh, a lot of things, but uh, she's definitely getting some of the rest uh, that she needs and looking forward to being back out on the trail very soon. So we're told that the campaign is working with uh, her doctor on releasing some more uh, medical records, more medical information later this week. What, what will that information be? Well, as you know, Jake, last year, Secretary Clinton released uh, a letter from her doctor that not only talked about her current medical condition, but also outlined her medical history. Uh, this uh, next set of information will be an update on that so that voters can, can see everything. I will note, and you noted this in the earlier segment, Donald Trump has, still has yet to release any uh, credible, serious information about his health whatsoever. So we are certainly calling on him to release this, not just some information, but the same amount and, and, and information that's really serious. That last letter he released was is really regarded as a joke and uh, and voters deserve to get this same information from him right he said he was going to release more information I guess we'll see uh, when he does that Secretary Clinton of course was diagnosed with pneumonia on Friday we did not find out about that until Sunday night after she was seen appearing to collapse why not tell the American people on Friday that she had pneumonia well, uh, Jake, she met with her doctor. Uh, she made a decision to just power through this. Um, as your opening segment mentioned, a, a lot of people here on the campaign have been sick uh, the last few weeks, and we've decided to power through sometimes uh, to our own detriment. Um, obviously, uh, when uh, uh, she uh, became overheated at the event, it was clear that she needed some downtime, and she's taking that right now. But um, a, lot of, a lot of people work through pneumonia. We we all know Secretary Clinton's work ethic, uh, the millions of miles she traveled around the world as Secretary of State. It, to her, she would be out there right now uh, continuing to campaign, but we definitely think uh, it's the right thing for her to have some downtime, get over this, and, and get back out there. I want you to listen to something that Ohio Senate candidate and former Governor Ted Strickland, a Democrat, said while introducing Tim Kaine at an event earlier today. Take a listen. Just let me say that I, I've known uh, Senator Kaine for quite some time. He, he is a wonderfully prepared person to be the vice president and to be the president, if that ever became necessary. Kind of an odd thing to say, especially amid legitimate concerns and questions about Secretary Clinton's health, don't you think? I, I I think it's it's a little bit too far to read uh, anything into that. But look again, Jake. I, I I think what really matters here is that Secretary Clinton a year ago uh, fully disclosed uh, medical information, not just her current condition, but uh, her past medical history. She's going to do more this week. We have still seen absolutely nothing serious from Donald Trump. And I think as much time as we're spending focusing on this, we've got to focus on the complete and utter lack of disclosure from Donald. Trump. Trump. It's not just his medical records. It's his taxes. It's his foundation. We know more about Hillary Clinton than any presidential campaign in history, I, I, or presidential candidate in history. I don't think anybody would dispute that. Well, we know almost nothing about Donald Trump, and he's got to come forward. The, your points about Mr. Trump's lack of disclosure are, are well taken, but I, I think one of the issues going on here uh, is that the campaign, your campaign, uh, did not disclose what happened on Friday. Uh, thus, on Sunday, when Hillary Clinton and your staff left that event, didn't tell the campaign reporters traveling with Secretary Clinton that you had that she had left. She was seen uh, seeming to collapse uh, in front of cameras. I think people wonder how much are you willing to disclose unless you're forced to? And in fact, former Obama senior advisor David Axelrod tweeted this about your campaign's response to the episode, quote, antibiotics can take care of pneumonia. What's the cure for an unhealthy penchant for privacy that repeatedly creates unnecessary problems? That's from David Axelrod. What's your response? Well, first of all, as I said, on Friday, she made a decision with her doctors to just power through this. Um, but why and, wouldn't you tell the voters? Do you think the voters don't have a right to know? Well, 
Well, I think, look, uh, obviously uh, pneumonia is more serious than a, than a cold or a flu, but people often go into work uh, and continue to, to power through when they have pneumonia, when they have a flu, when they have a cold. That was the decision she made. She didn't want this to impact anything. But on Sunday, it was clear uh, that she'd become overheated. Uh, the doctor said she was dehydrated and she needed some downtime. And as soon as, uh, as, soon as that became clear, we, we announced that. I would have liked... Uh, if we could have announced this more quickly. You mentioned it took us 90 minutes uh, to release that information. I wish we'd done that in a shorter amount of time. That's on us, that's on the staff. We were trying to make sure she could see her doctor, getting her to Chelsea's uh, apartment. We were you know, making sure she was okay. Was the doctor um, at so Chelsea's apartment? No, she saw the, the doctor in Chappaqua. But uh, again, I, 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 wanna, I just want to make sure we got a fair playing field here. It took us 90 minutes to get this information out uh, on Sunday. I totally get that. That's on us. I wish we could have done that more quickly. Donald Trump has released nothing for 500 or more days. I mean, let, let, let's, be, let's be fair here. There's a lot of information out about Hillary. Yes, she developed pneumonia. Yes, she tried to power through it. But it's not, you know, let's hold Donald Trump's feet to the fire to disclose anything whatsoever that's serious about his own health. You, it took 90 minutes before you disclosed that she had gone to Chelsea Clinton's uh, apartment and, and was overheated. It took hours before you disclosed the, the pneumonia diagnosis from Friday. But let me ask you, Robbie, can you explain what exactly it is that we see in that video from behind? Did she lose consciousness? Well, she she was uh, she was overheated. Um, she wasn't feeling well. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't physically there. So but you know, I, I mean, did she faint? Was she was she alert? Did she just lose her footing, or was she, she out? My understanding is she did not uh, lose consciousness. Um, she she was phoning uh, members of the team here from the road. Um, uh, so, you know, we, we were talking to her while she was in the car on the way to Chelsea's uh, apartment. She was playing with her grandkids at the at the apartment. And uh, obviously, members of the media uh, were informed of where she was. So they were able to see her when she left the apartment. Um, so uh, that that's what we know. And, and we, we got her to her doctor as quickly as we could uh, to get to the bottom of what was happening. And she said she got overheated and was dehydrated, which is something that can happen as a result of these antibiotics. Let's remove Hillary Clinton from the equation. I, I, there's something going on here that I'm not sure the campaign is, is fully cognizant of, or at least you're not behaving as if you are. There's a long, rich history of presidential nominees or candidates or presidents lying about their health problems. Woodrow Wilson, FDR, Ike, JFK, and on and on. Voters have a right to know if there's anything about a candidate's health that could affect his or her ability to be president. Is there anything that we need to know about Secretary Clinton's health that we do not already know. Well, Jake, first of all, she's going to be releasing uh, a, f a full update of her, uh, of her medical status from her doctor later this week. So we're gonna get that out. She's getting the full physical so that, so that all that information I guess I just reject the premise of your question. She was diagnosed with pneumonia on Friday. She decided to power through it. She was on antibiotics. She overheated and was dehydrated uh, yesterday. She left the event early. She got to her doctor. Her doctor checked her out, said that she, was, she had been dehydrated and overheated. She's resting today. We know absolutely nothing about Donald Trump's health. That letter he, re he released is not serious. Uh, he, and, and uh, so you're, you're making some presumption that there's information that's not being shared. You know, you know, but Robbie, uh, it's everything not just, we know, and we're releasing more later this week. It's, I, it's I, I not I just, just it's not just, the, it's not just the pneumonia. This. I mean, if she had this blood clot, she had an incident four years ago. I think that's why the concern is that she did have a serious health episode four years ago. It's in that context. And Jake, all of that information was in that letter that was released that uh, last year, and that letter is going to be updated this year. So just Donald Trump released a letter that was completely unserious, and uh, and I, I hope that you would be applying the same level of scrutiny to Donald Trump and and asking inferential questions about his health as well. Well, I'm just uh, asking: we, is there anything we need to know that we don't already know? That's it's just a absolutely. 
Absolutely not. And, okay. and she is going to be releasing uh, the, a, f a full uh, report later this week and more information later this week. So um, we'll get that out as soon as we have it. But All right. I, again, I, I just I, let's be fair here. Donald Trump has released essentially nothing. And I hope that you would apply the same level of scrutiny to him as well. His letter uh, is not sufficient and he has released no tax returns where you have released 32 years or something like that. Absolutely 